Okay, welcome back to Hangar 51. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing of the new, uh, well, it's been a little while now, but it's still pretty new, the uh, Viper 90 from uh, um, E-Flight. Um, just picked one of those up. We're running on sale right now. $100 off, I think till, I don't know, the 18th of this month. So, um, yeah, if you've got points and uh, $100 off, uh, I ended up only paying for uh, 400 and I think it was 480 bucks for this plane because of my points in the hundred dollars off. Normally it's uh, five 500 and, uh, no 688 dollars with tax. Uh, so from 688 to 492 or something like that uh, was pretty good savings almost $200. So I had to pick it up for that. To get this jet at that price was a, a pretty good deal. Now, I got to tell you, this box is amazingly small considering the size of this airplane. Because I've seen the plane and it's pretty big. But this box is not very big. So I'm really kind of surprised. Can't wait to see how they pack this because, you know, it's definitely a, a smaller box. So let's get it out of the uh, shipping box. Okay. Sit there for a second. Get this off the table. Okay. All right. Got a little corner damage here. Probably nothing in that corner. I think that would have hurt the airplane. Um, so there it is. There's your shipping box. Yeah, it's crushed here on the corner, but I, I doubt there's anything in that corner that's got damage in shipping, so we're probably okay. Um, all right, so let's get this open and uh, see what we got. Kind of excited about this one. Um, everybody's been raving about how great this jet is, so I had to buy it. You know, I didn't really want to buy any more jets. I keep saying that, but I keep buying more jets. Uh, they've really that that L thirty nine I got was amazing. So if you haven't seen that video, go look it up. Uh, Sixty four millimeter L thirty nine, awesome airplane. Um, so so uh, yeah, I keep saying I'm not gonna buy more jets, and then I buy another jet. <laughs> I <can't> give up. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna keep buying airplanes no matter what they are. I guess I can't seem to stop. So, uh, all right, let me get this around the room here. Let me move my chair there. That'll help. Okay. Get this box. There you go. Okay. So, here's what it looks like taped in. Um, obviously, the both wings are on top. Uh, this is the bottom of the wing, and this is the top of the wing. There's tapes holding these three. Uh, there's three um, pieces here holding the um, holding everything down. So we're just going to cut these tapes, get these off the off the foam here. That's one. I like to get the tapes off because I've, I've left a piece of tape hanging before, a piece of painted airplane touched it, and then it pulled the paint off. And that really, really pissed me off. <laughs> so I try to make sure I get all the tape off the box and gone because I don't want that accident to happen again. So I get to get them off and get them out, out so we don't have to worry about tapes being a problem. Now, as I'm looking at this, I see that it's a double-decker box, so, so you're going to have to get remove the tapes all the way anyway because 
you, the, the two boxes are taped together. So, all right. So let's pull one of the wings out and take a look at this. We'll start with this one here. And uh, there's just some uh, foam. Uh, okay. So right away I see I'm missing a lens, uh, a, a light lens here, right off the bat. So the uh, Okay, well they're both missing, so they must be part of the the lens must be part of the um, the winglet. So okay, so we won't consider that a problem yet because it looks like that's what that is. Got um, this this looks I don't know is this paint? Yeah, it is paint. Um, that's a decal, I think. So yeah, we got it looks like the light gray is paint. Of course, we have some tapes, too. It looks like this dark gray, though, might be um, a sticker. No, it might be paint. Hard to tell. No, I think that's paint, too. Okay, so, yeah. Looks like it's all paint. And then they got some tapes, you know, white and gray tapes to cover in the wires. Um, looks good. Very nice. Um... Had a little uh, little defect in the foam right there, not a big deal. Um, let's see, is this red paint? Or is that deep? That's a sticker. So the red the red stripe here is a sticker, and I believe yeah, this black stripe here is a sticker. But the rest of it's paint. And of course the E Flight logo there's a sticker. Um, ball bearing. I think that's a ball bearing wheel. That's rolling pretty damn free. Very nice. Gear doors. Got the flaps and ailerons and lights. And there's, it looks like we've got a strobe light and a nav light on the wing here. All right. So that's one wing. Let's check out the other one make sure it's okay. Uh, same thing. we got a sticker here. It says Viper. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be 60 or 09. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it's 09. Um, yep, everything looks good. I don't see any damage. Um, everything seems to be good. And all the control horns are installed and the control rods are installed. Nothing to do there. So, uh, very nice. Okay. All right. Piece of foam here will move out, and the piece of foam here will move out. So then this is the uh, horizontal stabilizer. This again is all red paint. This is not a sticker. So red paint on here. Um, bottom is gray paint, and some tapes covering the wires. And uh, again, servos are installed. Servo arms are installed. You know, horns and uh, rods. Everything's installed. So all you're going to do is plug it in. You got two plugs here, it's, uh, both both marked elevator. So so you got that. That looks really good. Let me set this uh, right here. And the rudder's here. So let's get that the vertical stabilizer. Same thing. We've got uh, Air, Aircraft Studio Design. That's an interesting uh, sticker. I don't know where that came from. But that, it's got this Aircraft Studio Design sticker on it. It was kind of coming up, but I pushed it back down. Uh, again, all red paint, black paint, um, red tape to cover the wires. Um, yeah, no stickers on here. Just some red tape and the rest is paint. And, this, of course, this uh, Aircraft Studio uh Air, aircraft studio design, yeah. So, okay. Um, looks good. There's there's some uh, minor... Well, that's a, I guess that's a plastic... Yeah, that's a plastic insert. So, really, that looks pretty good. That, that flushes up really nice, considering that this is a piece of plastic. And this is foam on both sides of it. That's really well done. I mean, you can see it's there, but but it looks really good. So... 
Yeah, so they did a nice job on that. Okay, so that's the whole top of the of the kit part, the crate. So that's the end of that. Nothing more in here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Alright, so let's get this over here. Alright. And then we've got... Yellow tape holding a a, a rod and the, the rods for the uh, wings. I'm assuming. Um, obviously, there's you don't put one of these in a stabilizer. It's already together. So this is uh, they're taped together. There's a small rod and a big uh, uh, spar. They're taped together. And then we've got the winglets here. And yeah, there's there's the light cover. It's attached to the winglet. That's interesting. I wonder why they did it like that. Hmm. I hope those are secured on there pretty well because those look like they get knocked off pretty easy. So uh, winglets are all tape, or I'm sorry, all paint. The red and black on here are tape. Again, paint. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying tape. Yeah, this is all paint. Red, red and black paint. Not stickers. Not uh, not decals. On on both the winglets. Nose cone. They have a the parts bag is inside the uh, nose cone. There's a magnet in here, so these were stuck to the magnet. Um, got the typical. This looks like FMS because these are uh, looks like three, uh, six, nine, nine screws and a fine plug, and uh, not, they're all two millimeter head uh, hex head. All the same size machine screws. So the whole plane screws together with nine, probably one extra. So eight, eight or nine uh, um, two millimeter screws will build the whole plane. Very thick manual. Holy crap, this thing's huge. And the reason it's this thick is because it's in several different languages. Looks like we've got Italian, French, um, I think this DE, I think that's Denmark, maybe. I'm not sure. And then probably English. And then English, yeah. So that's why this this is so thick, is because there's there's um, four different languages in there. Okay, so what else we got? Oh, we got the, uh, looks like uh, ventral fins uh, that, that clip on. These have those, uh, you just put them on slide it and it locks in place so we got two ventral fins going on the bottom a fuselage and they're removable they they, they they slide on just like the uh the um the winglets same thing they they have that slide on clip so they slide on as well and then the only thing left in the box is the main fuselage and this is a pretty damn big fuselage i gotta tell you it, it, it's pretty pretty big. This is a massive uh, massive fuselage here, guys. So let's get this. Uh, okay. All right. So. And there's there's my 09. Uh, obviously, it's it's an 09 because they wouldn't put 60 on it upside down. It's not a, it's not a Blue Angel or, or a Thunderbird. <laughs> so yeah, and that's pretty. It's so big it won't even stay in the camera. I mean, holy mackerel! It takes the whole. If I put the nose cone on it, it would take up the whole frame. So yeah, that's a pretty big airplane. There we go. So yeah, yeah that's. Yep, yeah, you can't get you can't get it. I can't get the whole plane in the frame with the nose gun. Uh, just barely. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, she's a big bird. It's a very big airplane. So we got a positive positive latch um, holding the canopy on. Okay. 
very nice. Um, interesting pilot. Um, got a smart connector in here. Uh, you know the, the orange smart technology connector. Here's a white white harness here um, with a capacitor plugged into it. I wonder what that's for. Okay, so it's AS3X only. You want to leave the bind plug in, is what it says here. But I'm sure it's already bound. I'm sure I'm not going to have to bind it. And it came with an AR, what is it, an AR637TA receiver. Okay, the three straps holding the battery compartment battery in, and a giant, another giant piece of Velcro. Um, I gotta tell you guys, my biggest complaint, and, and and everybody does this, and I and I really, they need to they need to fix this. If you don't seal the plywood before you put the you know tape this down on the plywood, you'll just pull the you're, you're going to end up pulling the especially if it's good Velcro, you're going to end up pulling the thing off the wood the wood uh, battery tray. It, it it doesn't stick that well to bare wood. You need to seal that wood before you put the Velcro in it. You know, it takes five seconds for them to, you know, wipe a little epoxy on there and wait for it to dry and then stick the Velcro to that. You know, or eat some other kind of anything. Spray it maybe with some paint. Um, I, and I really don't know. I, I mean, I always use epoxy personally. But if you, you know, if you don't, you just, every time you pull the battery out, it's going to pull that off the wood. You know, so I'm kind of disappointed with that, and it's and I'm not picking on E-Flight. FMS does the same thing. Every pretty much everybody does the same thing. I haven't seen seen one yet where anybody has sealed the wood floor before they put the Velcro strap in it. So I just think that's that, that's something that needs to happen. They need to fix that. Um, it would just make things a lot easier. If if they don't want to paint it, then stop putting the Velcro in. Simple. Don't put just throw the Velcro in there loose. So that I can put my epoxy on it, and then I'll stick my Velcro down myself. But you guys sticking it down to a wooden, a bare wood tray is pretty much wasting a piece of Velcro because it's it's just going to pull out of there. All right, so what do we got? We've got uh, all right. So there's no no gear inner gear doors, so the wheels are partly exposed. They're partly covered from the outer door, but no inner door. They're just re releasing the wing. Uh, four screws hold the wing on. Got a nose gear door. That's nice. Looks like we've got a light here on the bottom. And uh, another light here on the top. Um, I don't see a light on the vertical. Nope. And then we've got the uh, nav light in a strobe or, or either a nav light and a landing light or a nav light and a strobe light. On the each wing tip, so looks like a total of uh, six six lights. Pretty nice. Got an air intake hole here to let air in to cool the cool the uh, ESC, I, I guess, because I think the ESC is right under the floor there. I'm getting the impression that's where it is. And uh, yeah, so that'll do it. Looks good. Very nice. I don't see any damage here. This looks good. You know, the paint looks good. I don't see any real bleeding. It, it, it's really nice, guys. They did, a, they did a nice job on this one. Um, this looks pretty good. I don't see any damage on anything. Um, pretty happy here. This is nice. Looks really good. All right. And this, you you don't have to. You, it, it closes automatically. You just, just close it. So you don't have to pull the lever back to close it. I like that too. That's a nice feature. All right, so that's going to do it for the unboxing of the uh, new 90 millimeter Viper from E-Flight. Um, again, it's on sale right now. So uh, if you if you want to, you know, save a hundred dollars on this jet, um, and then if you have your own points to add to it, you can save 
a substantial amount of money by uh, making that purchase now. So I, I recommend it highly. Um, oh, one more thing. All the, uh, the, the flight controls are all plug in when the wing goes on. There's three separate uh, connectors molded into the side of the wing here. So the wings plug right on. Um, no, no wires to connect. They self-connect when you plug the wing, wing on. So that's nice. That's a great feature too, especially for you guys that have to take the wings off the transport. You're going to really love that. So yeah, very nice guys. Very, very pretty chip. Very nice. All right. So that's going to do it to this unboxing. I uh, hope you like that. Hope, uh, like I said, it's still on sale, I believe, till the 18th. So uh, if you want to save $100 plus whatever you have in points, uh, now's the time to get it for sure, guys. So, um, all right. So that's going to do it. Like, subscribe, comments at the bottom, and we'll see you on the uh, build review, which is going to be coming up next. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.